The story begins when Captain Steve Trevor of the U.S. Air Force was sent to check an unidentified flying object that suddenly appeared over the Atlantic. They later realized it was hostile when it suddenly attacked their planes. Steve crash-landed over the protected lands of Themyscira, where he witnessed Diana Prince, aka Wonder Woman, save him as his plane sank to the bottom of the ocean before he lost consciousness. He later wakes up with bruises from the earlier attack to which Diana welcomes him to Themyscira, home of the elusive Amazons. It's also known to be a paradise favored by the gods, hidden for centuries from the gaze of man's world, and currently ruled by her mother, Queen Hippolyta. Steve later realizes he needed to warn everybody of the creature that attacked them. Diana explains that he will stay until the Queen and the Council decide his fate. Given that he is the first outsider to have set foot on Themyscira, as the guards take away Steve, he pleads to Diana, worrying that those creatures could invade Earth as we speak. Later that night, Diana shows up, geared up, and breaks Steve out of prison. He suspects that the deliberations didn't turn out well. He worries that her helping him would get her in trouble with her mother, but she insists that he needs her help after witnessing the demon that attacked his plane. She explains that the gods foretold of a day when a champion of Themyscira would be called upon to save man's world from untold horrors. She says that she was taught that an Amazon does what is right, no matter the cost, and that is what she intends to do. As they're about to escape, the Queen arrives and demands Diana return the prisoner to his cell. Diana explains that she intends to escort Steve back to his people and accompany him to fight these so-called demons. An intense fight between Diana and the Queen ensues, but the Queen eventually bests her. Diana explains that Steve's arrival is a sign, and that they are called upon to help man's world. Queen Hippolyta tells her that should she decide to leave, she will never become Queen or set foot on this island ever again. When her words are not enough, Diana wraps his arm with the Lasso of Truth, and dares her to ask again. The Queen walks away in tears, Having left the mascara, Diana worries about being unable to return to her home and alone in the new world, but Steve reassures her that she isn't alone. They are later dressed up to meet with Dr. Julia Capatilis, the foremost expert on ancient culture, where she will be staying while she is in Washington to learn about their culture while she learns about theirs. Her sudden appearance has made it troublesome for Vanessa, Dr. Capetalis' daughter. Eventually, Vanessa becomes bitter and distant from Diana, as she has taken most of her mom's attention instead of her. Years have passed since then, and Wonder Woman has made a name for herself in some enemies. Julia later shows up for a visit and asks for her help as she worries that Vanessa might have gotten into trouble. She explains that she found some disturbing emails in Vanessa's office. She stole a precious artifact from their employer, Veronica Kale of Kale Pharmaceuticals, and intends to sell it to shady people. Wonder Woman later tracked Vanessa down at a warehouse where she intends to have the trade-off with Dr. Poison. Vanessa wonders where Dr. Cyber is as she was the one who negotiated with Dr. Poison, explains that Dr. Cyber doesn't go out and meet face-to-face -face with her clients. So she teams up with her. Wonder Woman suddenly shows up, which the villains think that Vanessa double-crossed them, and orders her men to kill her. Steve and Julia also show up and urge Vanessa to return the artifact. Giganta then injects herself with a drug that makes her bigger and attacks Wonder Woman who pushes Vanessa out of harm's way. Dr. Poison picks up the briefcase while the others are distracted during the fight and escape. When Giganta tries to attack Vanessa, Wonder Woman knocks her out. After taking out the armed soldiers, they thought everything was okay until they heard Vanessa scream. When they checked what happened, they found Julia shot and dead in her arms. Vanessa blames Wonder Woman, claiming they shouldn't have been there, and she runs away. Although Vanessa did not show up for her mother's funeral, she was watching from a distance care of Dr. Cyber, who used her emotions against her to convince her to agree to team up with them. She later resurfaces on a Kirok border, where she is seen smuggling medical equipment, tech, and even artifacts. Steve explains that they traced it back to Dr. Cyber and Dr. Poison, which they suspect have teamed up together. Wonder Woman gives her the benefit of the doubt and flies to Quebec in search of her. After securing an invisible jet, Steve and Wonder Woman fly to Quebec, where they suspect it is the enemy's base. 
They tried to sneak in quietly, but Steve shoots the door panel when it was locked. Dr. Cyber tries to buy Dr. Poison time to fly the machine out, but with Wonder Woman and Steve closing in on them, Vanessa decides to stall them by herself. Although Vanessa is determined, Dr. Cyber explains that she may not be ready yet, but Dr. Poison explains that she is expendable, but their mission is not. Wonder Woman and Steve were too late to stop Dr. Poison from escaping, but what awaited them was a whole new Vanessa. Vanessa has undergone extreme transformations where her entire body is covered in steel and calls herself the Silver Swan. When Vanessa couldn't be reasoned with, Wonder Woman was forced to knock her out. Given their situation, Steve suggests asking for help from the Justice League. But Wonder Woman claims that Vanessa is not in her right mind and needs someone whose only concern is helping her. Steve aids, Etta, suggests going to Veronica Kale because she's the foremost expert in biotech. After a closer inspection, Dr. Kale explains that Vanessa's extreme transformations aren't an implant but a techno-organic virus that continues to replace her insides until nothing is left. Left with no options, Wonder Woman suggests using the purple healing ray at the mascara. The only problem is that she doesn't know where it is anymore. Anyone who leaves the island immediately forgets its location. Dr. Kale points them in the direction of Julia's office, which she claims could have a clue as to where it was given that the good doctor researched, that mascara, and that finding it was her pet project. They spent hours digging through all of Dr. Julia's research on Themyscira, and they are nowhere closer to finding where it is. Etta suggests going through the bottom of the pile, given that Julia spent her time researching Themyscira before meeting Kale. When they opened a box, they found a book of the Temple of Pasiphae. Wonder Woman explains that she's an oracular goddess, associated with mazes who help people see the future. She suspects that if her shrine is still intact, it could give them a clue about where Themyscira is. Wonder Woman and the others arrive at the temple, but find Cheetah waiting for them. Wonder Woman urges Steve and Etta to head into the temple, while she handled Cheetah. When Wonder Woman has her beat, Cheetah reveals that Dr. Poison and Dr. Cyber have been recruiting other villains to their cause. She then pulls out a syringe and injects herself with a mysterious liquid, making her stronger and faster than she was before. Faster for even Wonder Woman to follow. When she's backed into a corner, Wonder Woman throws her into the jet. When Cheetah recklessly charges at her so she can fight her in a more enclosed space, taking away her advantage in speed. Wonder Woman beats up Cheetah and has her restrained in the jet while she runs after Steve and Etta. Steve and Etta later find the temple, but is distraught at finding an actual maze. They later run into a minotaur, to which Etta explains that, according to legends, Pasiphae gave birth to a minotaur to protect the labyrinth. Worried that they would not reach the temple before it, they tricked the minotaur into charging into a wall and created a shortcut that cut through the maze. The minotaur later passes out after running into a wall multiple times. In the middle of the shrine is a huge goblet from which Wonder Woman drank, hoping it would lead her to find where Themyscira is. But she received puzzling visions of the future instead. Suddenly, the Minotaur regains consciousness, intent on defending the fountain. Wonder Woman saw it was taking hold of him, so she destroyed the fountain, freeing the Minotaur from his duty. Released from eternity, the Minotaur pledges his loyalty to her for saving him and she names him Ferdinand after Steve's suggestion. Etta later receives word from Dr. Kale wanting to meet them back at the lab. After looking further into Vanessa's blood, she discovered that her company's logo was micro-stamped on Dr. Poison's compounds and in Vanessa's blood as if it was her company who made them. Dr. Kale helped Wonder Woman figure out her vision. By distinguishing the types of fish Wonder Woman is familiar with, they were able to find the location of them as Scara, when Dr. Cyber suddenly shows up on their screens, who claims to have hacked into Kale Pharmaceutical servers, Wonder Woman urges her to focus her revenge on her, and not on others. But Dr. Cyber claims it wasn't vengeance they were after, but money after hearing the advanced technology Themyscira has on the island. She then activates the contamination protocols and force awakens the unconscious Vanessa. While Wonder Woman is busy helping the others escape from the building, Dr. Poison orders Vanessa to run. 
Wonder Woman, Steve, and Etta gear up for the final battle. And although Wonder Woman worries for her sisters, she claims that the Amazons are always ready for a fight. They finally arrive in Themyscira, but find it under attack by Dr. Cyber, Dr. Poison, and Vanessa. Cyber orders Vanessa to keep Wonder Woman and the others busy while Dr. Poison continues its attack on the gates, and she prepares their secret weapon. After finally breaking the gates, they open the mysterious chamber to reveal it was Medusa inside. With one look, she took out several Amazons who looked at her gaze and turned into stone. When Dr. Cyber and Dr. Poison order Medusa around, she tears her apart and turns Dr. Poison into stone. She then injects herself with Dr. Poison's compound to turn her into a giant monster. Not even any ambush works on her as she walks toward the castle. Seeing their jet doesn't stand a chance against Vanessa, Wonder Woman flies out to confront her. Despite her hospitality towards her, Wonder Woman still tries to convince her to stand down. As she restrains her, Steve shoots at Vanessa who knocks her out of the sky. Unconscious, Wonder Woman cushions her fall to discover Medusa marching toward them. Steve tried to help and shoot her down, but she threw a petrified Amazon at them, to which the jet incurred severe damage. When Medusa wouldn't stand to reason, Wonder Woman stands up to fight her. Although she fought well, Wonder Woman doesn't stand a chance against her. When she petrified Steve, Wonder Woman charged at her and furiously attacks her. But Medusa uses one of her snakes to bite her to send an unbearable pain all over her as the venom attacks her. With Wonder Woman down, Medusa sets her sights on Vanessa and poisons her with a snake bite when Wonder Woman jumps up and chops one of her snakes down to free Vanessa. Medusa then compels Vanessa to look at her, but Wonder Woman stops her. When she saw she wouldn't let her look, Medusa compelled Wonder Woman instead. But despite her strong compulsion, she could stop herself. Wonder Woman then grabs the decapitated snake head and pours its venoms on her eyes to blind her so she wouldn't turn to stone even if she wanted to. Wonder Woman then attacks Medusa with all her might, but she doesn't stand a chance now that she has gone blind. As Wonder Woman is forced onto her knees, Medusa is about to deal the finishing blow when Vanessa swoops in and blocks her attack. She then sends her flying with her powers. Together, they fight against Medusa, and after dodging her attack, Vanessa sends Wonder Woman into her, where she uses all her strength to decapitate her. With Medusa dead, everyone who was turned to stone returned to normal. Vanessa and Wonder Woman hug, proud of each other, and are later greeted by the Queen, who declares how immeasurably proud of her she is. After being treated for their injuries, the Queen explains to everyone how they have been separated from the rest of the world long enough, and that it is high time that they are reacquainted with the world as it is. As everyone cheers for Diana, after being named the Champion of Themyscira, she announces her loyalty to her family, and how she will always be there to protect them. In the post credit scene, Wonder Woman enters Dr. Kale's office, furious at her after learning she was the mastermind behind the incident. She killed Julia, fearing she would learn of her supporting Dr. Cyber and Dr. Poison. When asked about her motivation, she claims that after hearing from Julia about the amazing technology Themyscira has, she was tempted to take it all for herself. Wonder Woman walks away, but not before warning her that should any harm come to her family or friends, she will go after her, to which she then stabs her desk with a sword. The End Thank you so much for watching, check out these other videos, and please make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos. See you next time!